Hey people, it's Sean Francis here and I just had the most awesome workout ever at uh, Good Life up here on Wakeley Drive, I think somewhere uh, in Ottawa because I had to come work out. So, uh, hey, intensity, the word intensity, look up intensity in the dictionary. A lot of times you're going to see something like the measure of how intense something is, but one of the definitions I came across was um, a concentrated uh, force or power or focus and all three of those are things that should apply every time you work out I don't know if you can see my shirt here this was like uh, I was checking for a singular dry spot and there's nothing so that was an absolute intense workout did legs lots of squats uh, lots of stiff legged deadlifts lots of lunges lots of basically everything I and I'm absolutely soaked because there was such intensity or focus on what I was doing the headphones go on the hats on um, I'm not there to talk to people I'm not there to hang out and chat about what's on the news and what's going wrong with the world today I'm there to focus on what I'm doing focus on every single contraction every single rep every single set how long my rest periods are where my mindset is where my focus is and I try to think about the muscle as I move and I challenge you to do that the next time that you work out think about every single movement don't just go through the motions and waste time and I dare say your workout intensity will be tenfold if you do that if you think about every single squat the way down and the way up are you looking at the colors on the walls are you looking at your friends are you chatting about whatever or are you thinking about the muscles in your legs that are allowing you to do that the muscles that are slowly elongating as you go down as you descend into a squat because if they didn't do that under control you would drop into the bottom and basically potentially damage knees and hips and, and your back and get injured, right? So you're controlling the descent. You're controlling how slow you drop into the bottom. We're always looking at a two to three second descent because we always want to control movement. And we know that we're a lot stronger in the negative and we're, um, we get a lot more benefit out of the negative also causes a lot more destruction too as far as muscle breakdown and then muscle repair so you're two three seconds down how what are you doing at the bottom are you focusing are you bouncing out of the bottom are you trying to use momentum and elasticity and muscle or are you stopping yourself for an entire second to hold that isometrically controlled and focused then on your way back up how are you coming up are you going just as as best as you can do or are you being intense are you focusing on rocketing out of the bottom as fast as you absolutely can uh, and then when you get to the top do you go all the way up to the top to lock out are you squeezing at the top are you trying to get more juice out of the top are you holding for a second are you standing there then and getting lost in the music and what's going on or are you right back into your next repetition do you focus that much on your workouts and I'm challenging you to your next workout to go and do that get a feel for every single movement every single repetition every single set and tell me how intense your workout is give me a post on my Facebook or send me a message let me know if it works or not for you and even send me a picture of how crazy soaked your shirt is because you just had the most intense workout so that's my challenge for you hopefully you take it up I just want to do a cool video for you because I thought it would be awesome to do hope all is well with you if you have any questions reach out to me I'd love to help you out take care